Hello, I'm Colin Kelly. I am uh, the vocalist and guitar player and songwriter for Augustus. Hey, my name is Jim Herlihy, and uh, I play guitar and sing in Augustus as well. We got started in a dingy bar in um, in downtown Boulder called Johnny's Cigar Bar in uh, 2013. We were both there to see a friend's band and we recognized each other from just playing open mic nights around town and we decided to meet up and play some music and it went really well and we decided to keep moving forward and try out some different band names and eventually we arrived at Augustus. Yeah, we were originally called Tusk, and we loved the name Tusk. It was a good name. But everybody thought we were a Fleetwood Mac cover band, so we had to ditch the name, unfortunately. Our style is constantly evolving, or we just constantly have to, or I get like anxious and have to try something else, or I get fascinated by something. Colin is definitely the, the main songwriter and archetype of the kernel that is Know, or the core, I guess, of the band, and then we orbit around that in a way and kind of help craft it. So we all, every member or previous member or current member has always had to sort of want to adapt in a way. Our original lineup was Colin on an acoustic guitar. Uh, the original, the other original member, Jesse, on cello, and myself on a banjo, and this sort of homemade drum kit that I played with my feet that evolved over three different records to be like a fairly involved nine pedal foot powered drum kit. And by then we were playing electric guitars, and, and it just didn't have a choice but to morph. any more from here it has to go in a completely different direction so you know I think I think a lot of it's really cool to be doing that um, keep people guessing um, it's fresh for as a, on a creative standpoint it's fun to do so um, I don't know if there's ever there's definitely a through line in my opinion through all the music
such a different um, method of capturing the record for us because we've done everything in you know digital pro tools and then suddenly we're doing mixing on like this big fader and three of us are like pushing faders and there was um, Animal Lane had such a different um, different palette of equipment to work with like really wild um, microphones the grand piano the mellotron the the silver tone that Jim got to play so the the like raw materials that we had to make this record were were really different and it it was pretty wild and pretty awesome to um, be captured at that in that way and um, also I think the fact that we were doing it in you know in masks and kind of a lot of the songs were inspired by the isolation or the the strangeness of the past like year and a half and so it's kind of it was amazing that we landed where we landed and it's kind of bittersweet to me because it it was just so opposite a lot of our experiences in the studio yeah i'd agree i'd say it's a very different experience all, everything Colin said I'd agree with as far as the actual recording and capturing, but the putting of the material together was also extremely different for us this time around. Oftentimes, we're, we've been a touring band for you know years and years, and we work stuff out live on the road. So Colin will come to us with a, with a song, and then the band gets together in our practice space and morphs it and chisels and helps kind of get it in a presentable way uh, and then we tour on it and we work it out live every night and then we come back and we say this is how this song feels now it's ready to go into the studio and that happened over and over again for, for multiple records and this didn't happen like that at all because there's no touring whatsoever so uh, we basically Colin had a lot of songs that he wrote during the pandemic I had wrote a handful as well we had our producer heavily involved in sort of picking a giant chunk. I mean, we presented probably 20 songs, and you know, this record features 10 of those songs. So we chiseled a ton of stuff out, but none of it had been road tested. None of it had been played with a band before. It was all like solo person or Colin and I in a room together. But it was a completely different experience than than our last, than any of our other records putting together. Tell me, can you hear me? Calling through the dim, hiding in the hills, living on the brim, never heard an echo, but then I felt a chill, rattling in the canyons, you're getting pretty thin, whiskey in the morning, I mean, the first time I heard this record, I was I was pretty blown away. I had not been aware of DSD up until we were approached by PS Audio to, to do a record. Uh, and when I discovered a little more about it, I got excited. And when I saw the equipment that is used to, you know, produce the sounds, I was even more excited. And then when I heard, you know, my guitar parts being blasted through amazing speakers, I was like, that's pretty rad. I was just generally intimidated. <laughs> Buy the record. Yeah. <laughs> I so kid. I put my unborn children through college. <laughs> no, we we hope you like it. Um, we think a lot of the tones uh, are, are really unique to this record that we maybe haven't ever captured in previous records. Uh, um, we've never made a record in a pandemic, uh, so that's unique. I think. You can feel some of that, especially in a lot of the songs that were written here. And uh, 
a lot of heart went into it. So we hope it translates and uh, let us know. Contact us. We're just we're sitting around. We'll we'll answer. It.